Hi, welcome to the channel. Big thanks for clicking on this video. Tonight we are in the Brecon Beacons again. It's an absolutely glorious evening. I've got a new tent to test out. I've got a new sleeping bag to test out and uh, hoping it'll be a, a good summit camp. We're heading up to Van Clear, which is about 632 meters, I think, maybe 634. So uh, I think it's about a mile and a half from the car park but it's an absolutely stunning evening. And I'm not doing a solo camp tonight. I'm camping with my brother again, and he's got his two kids with him. So he's gonna be using another tent, which I picked up off eBay recently, a Vord Arco three person tent, which I snagged for 58 pound, including postage and including a footprint, which I think is gonna be an excellent uh, bit of kit for the money. So um, obviously my fitness levels aren't great at the moment, so I'm gonna be panting away up to the top. We're gonna try and make some progress because obviously it's, it's getting fairly late already and the kids are gonna be needing to go to bed soon. So we're gonna try and get up there and get pitched. So I'll do a little bit of filming on the way up and I'll catch up when I'm uh, up there with the tent. Right, so <laughs> shot of time lapse. Shot some random footage of the two tents being pitched. Um, shot some scenery shot some shots around the tents in a little bit of wind um but i didn't do much to camera because it was just one of those evenings where late out had to get the tents pitched had to get the kids sorted out so just chilled out had a couple of ciders whilst the kids were getting settled down
So yeah, weather's still pretty um, <laughs> pretty windy. Don't really give that improving too much until quite later on the day. So just gonna have to uh, make the best of it. The views from where I am, lying in the tent, are uh, significant and very nice. Looking down to South Wales. So yeah, it was a, a pretty good night. I think the kids did okay. I was worried about the wind at one point because obviously I'm in a really low slung tent and it's absolutely fine, but my brother and the kids are in my new Vord, or my old to use Vord, big old tent. So I got out of the tent in the early hours and wanted to have a look around to, to check it was okay. And it did really, really well. Um, really solid tent that, because the wind was, at least 30 miles an hour. Um, that's what it was forecast, but uh, it was at least that. So did did really, really well. Solid, solid purchase, 58 quid. Another bargain on my list and one I can take out if I want <laughs> to carry a lot away and uh, have tons and tons of room. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get up, see how the, uh, the other tent's getting on, have a nose around, do a bit of filming, film this tent in the wind and stuff. And yeah, see what the day uh, ahead brings. It's uh, 20 past seven now, so it took a long time for the sun to burn through the mist up here. But now that it has, the views, really, really nice. A nice, nice mountain to pitch on this, so highly recommended Fan Clear. Really, really good little mountain. Almost back to the car now. It's a really good walk, this one. It's uh, some decent paths. It's uh, on the Beacon, Beacon's way footpath. So you do get lost on the occasional little sheep trail off of it, but uh, generally speaking, it's easy to follow. And it's uh, quite a nice level of ascent up and down. So it has been easy for the kids to come up here. Uh, Toby's only three years old and he's, uh, he's walked a long way down and a long way up. So he's done really well. Um, Really lovely day now, it's cleared right out. It's still quite windy, but the views are lovely, the scenery's great, and we're not a million miles from the car, so I thought I'd just uh, wrap the video up now, really, because I can't see myself shooting too much more footage on the way down. So yeah, first night out in my Audi tent, first night out in my Audi sleeping bag, 
And we also got to give the Vord Arco three-person tent a test as well. And that did really well, to be fair. Um, 58 pound eBay bargain for that. Certainly got a good test last night with 30 mile an hour plus winds on a summit camp. Um, the Audi tent did fine. I'm not a massive fan of it, in all honesty. But I think for $49.99, it's still a really good tent, still a really good buy. I think if you were looking for a good Valley Wild Camping tent, you could certainly do a lot worse than pick one of those up. And uh, next up, we'll be taking the little tent out for a, for a, a, a nice camp somewhere. Yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, drop me a like. If you wanna see a lot more of this kind of content, I've got loads coming up, so do subscribe to the channel. You can hit the bell if you want any notifications for when I post videos. I do post twice a week, every Monday and Thursday at 6.45 p.m. So I will wrap it up here and I will catch you in the next one.